Hey everyone, it's Uwu Investigator here. First I wanna thank Totalical Weirdo for the collaboration, and today I want to talk about why Finn from Adventure Time is my favorite character. The show started off with light-hearted adventures of a boy and his dog, but as the story progressed it got deeper and more meaningful, and Finn's journey throughout the series is a big part of that. Finn started off as a kind-hearted and brave kid who always tried to do the right thing, but he was still a child, and he made mistakes. One such mistake was when he made animals suffer just to entertain him and Jake, but that's what made him relatable. He wasn't perfect, but he always tried his best. As the show went on, Finn faced more challenges that tested him. One of the most difficult moments for him was when he was rejected by Princess Bubblegum. He had developed feelings for her, but she didn't feel the same way. This rejection broke his heart and left him feeling lost and alone. But then he met Flame Princess and she changed his life. She showed him that he was capable of love and that he deserved to be loved in return. Finn's relationship with Flame Princess was a turning point in the series. But then he wrote a mean letter to Flame Princess, pretending that it was sent by Ice King. This led Top their breakup, and Finn felt guilty for hurting her. This was a turning point for Finn, as he realized that his actions had consequences, and that he needed to take responsibility for them. Another major challenge for Finn was when he found out that his dad was in prison. He tried to have a father, son moment with him, but his dad ran away and left him behind. This was a heartbreaking moment for Finn but it also allowed him to mature and become stronger. He stopped caring about his dad and focused on becoming a better person after this. Finn changes. He becomes more mature and starts to understand the world in a different way. I'm going to pass it over to local weirdo to tell you more about Finn. I really like Finn for a variety of reasons due to the fact that his continuous character growth is one of the driving storyboards when it comes to Adventure Time. And one of the main luring factors is the fact that he grows within various areas. He grows as an adventurer, slowly becoming more confident in his own abilities. He slowly grows emotionally, becoming more aware about his actions as well as his relationships with other individuals. A good example of this being Flame Princess. And he even grows within his cosmic awareness simply due to the fact that he ends up learning various secrets about his past lives, even learning that he is a literal representation of a factor within the multiverse. And his ever growing and changing perspective on life as well as the people around him easily makes him one of the most compelling characters within Adventure Time. Now I'm not going to go too far into death simply due to the fact that this is not my own video and I'm pretty sure this man right over here is probably going to have a little bit more things to say so I'm going to keep every single one of these pretty light. One of the starting things that ultimately makes his character somewhat interesting going forward is due to the fact that he starts off as an arrogant, ignorant, and absolutely carefree individual which ultimately leads to the downfall of pretty much everyone around him. He can never really see from other people's perspectives resulting in his own actions resulting in the downfall of pretty much everyone around him and having them suffer various consequences for things they didn't even do. One massive example of this would be the fact that he is indirectly responsible for Billy's death. He didn't really think about the implications of what would happen if he actually were to give the Enchiridion to someone who did not earn it, nor did he even have any kind of bond with them. However, whether he intended it or not, one thing that is always certain is that every action has a reaction, and this resulted in the Lich regaining a portion of his power and killing Billy. And this did clearly affect him, as after this particular event, he became far more skeptical. Not to the point where it was harming his own character, but enough to the point where it was clear that he matured from the experience. Even taking responsibility for Billy, both as his friend as well as the causer of his death, to fulfill the remaining pieces of his bucket list. There's also his relationship with Flame Princess, where he had to basically figure out how exactly relationships work, where neither of them truly understood the entire process of how a relationship should work. This lack of understanding would result in the relationship pretty much devolving into a toxic and flat-out abusive mess. A mess, may I add, that Finn learns from. Even incorporating the things that he learned from the relationship into new relationships, such as when he began to see Huntress Wizard. And it's ultimately this aspect of him that I absolutely just adore. The fact that he is clearly an imperfect individual, but continuously begins to learn things about life, and it will continuously change his perspective on things, making him an ever-growing character who is different every single episode. And that's why I feel like a lot of people relate to Finn. The fact that he's basically just a young boy who is continuously learning about life and adapting to this very hostile environment, both physically, mentally, as well as emotionally. Now, I could go over more, however, again, I would like to keep this short because I'm assuming that both of us are probably going to be doing a buttload of extra videos on these exact topics, so thanks for having me over here. I'm gonna go get a grilled cheese. Hi again. Since Total Local Weirdo went to eat... Cheese. 
I think it's time for me to wrap up too. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.